All right, we are now live to do some Bible reading a little later than I expected, purely because we had load shedding and I had things to do. But now I at least found some time to do a live stream to read the Word of God to you guys. And if you are watching from YouTube, please stay for some Bible reading. That's the main idea of this video. But there are at times discussions, there are at times study, uh, prayer as well and sometimes we go through like q a as well <clears throat> we don't always have uh q a but sometimes just just spontaneously we'll have a q a session as well um so great um glory to god glory to god All right, I'm just going to put my speakers on quickly. Give me a second. There you go. All right. Glory to God. We're going to do Exodus 30 to 32 today. Yesterday, I was unable to read the last chapter that I wanted to read because of load shedding. Now, today's load shedding was earlier from 2 to 4, but I was shopping and all that, and I just came back and had to prepare for this session that I was not even going to do, but I do still have some time. So, we're going to go and read. Exodus chapter 30 to 32. And so I want you guys to prepare yourself just to listen. If you're watching from YouTube or TikTok, just sit back, relax and listen to some of the word of God today. Um, David, welcome. Thanks for the rose there, bro. And um, Theo, welcome to the live. I'm well, thanks. And how are you doing, man? And everyone else who's on the live right now, God bless you guys. We're going to pray and then we're going to get into some Bible reading as well. So, yeah, looking forward to sharing the word of God with you guys today. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father God, we come before you in the name of Jesus and we thank you, Father, for your word. We pray that you would speak to us today through your word, Father. And so we welcome you, Holy Spirit, to bring to us wisdom, revelation, and understanding of the Scriptures. We bless your name, Father God, and we thank you for this day, this time, this live stream that we get to uh, receive from your word today. Let it be a blessing upon us today, Father, as we fellowship with you, as, as we spend time with you. And I pray, Lord, a blessing over every person that joins this live stream. And in your name we pray, Lord Jesus, and give you, Father God, all the glory, praise, and honor. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. Are you guys ready for the Word of God? Praise God. Praise God. I do, I do have limited time, so I'm going to be heading straight over to the, the uh, Bible reading session and we'll leave the chatting for a little later since I do have limited time today, guys. Exodus 30 to 32. Let's read. Just go back quickly and double check. Okay. Great. All right. This is Exodus 30 from the New King James Version. You shall make an altar to burn incense on. You shall make it of acacia wood. A cubit shall be its length, and a cubit its width. It shall be square, and two cubits 
shall be its height. Its horns shall be of one piece with it, and you shall overlay its top, its sides all around, and its horns with pure gold, and you shall make it for a molding of gold all around. Two gold rings you shall make for it, under the molding on both its sides, you shall place them on its two sides, and they will be holders for the poles with which to bear it. You shall make the poles of Achaia wood, and overlay them with gold, and you shall put it before the veil that is before the ark of the testimony, before the mercy seat that is over the testimony, where I will meet with you. Aaron shall burn on it sweet incense every morning when he tends the lamps uh, the lamps he shall burn incense on it and when Aaron lights the lamps at twilight he shall burn incense on it a perpetual incense before the Lord throughout your generations you shall not offer strange incense on it or a burnt offering or a grain offering or shall you pour a drink offering on it? And Aaron shall make atonement upon its horns once a year with the blood of the sin offering of atonement. Once a year he shall make atonement upon it throughout your generations. It is most holy to the Lord. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, When you take the census of the children of Israel for their number, then every man shall give a ransom for himself to the Lord, when you number them, that there may be no plague, that there may be no plague among them when you number them. This is what everyone among those who are numbered shall give half a shekel according to the shekel of the sanctuary. A shekel is twenty geras. The half shekel shall be an offering to the Lord. Everyone including, uh, sorry, everyone included among those who are numbered from twenty years old and above shall give an offering to the Lord. The rich shall not give more and the poor shall not give less than half a shekel. When you give an offering to the Lord to make atonement for yourselves, and you shall take the atonement money of the children of Israel and shall appoint it for the service of the tabernacle of meeting, that it may be a memorial for the children of Israel before the Lord to make atonement for yourselves. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, You shall also make a laver of bronze, with its base also of bronze for washing. You shall put it between the tabernacle of meeting and the altar, and you shall put water in it. For Aaron and his sons shall wash their hands and their feet in water from it. When they go into the tabernacle of meeting, or when they come near the altar to minister, to burn an offering made by fire to the Lord, they shall wash it with water, lest they die. So they shall wash their hands and their feet, lest they die. And it shall be a statute forever to them, to him and his descendants throughout their generations. Moreover, the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Also take for yourself quality spices, five hundred shekels of uh, sorry, five hundred shekels of liquid myrrh, half as much sweet smelling cinnamon, two hundred and fifty shekels, two hundred and fifty shekels of sweet smelling cane, 500 shekels of cassia, uh, uh, according to the shekel of the sanctuary, and a hin of olive oil. And you shall 
make from these a holy anointing oil and ointment compounded, uh, compounded according to the art of the perfumer. It shall be a holy anointing. With it you shall anoint the tabernacle of meeting and the ark of the testimony, the table and all its utensils, the lampstand and its utensils, and the altar of incense, the altar of burnt offering with all its utensils, and the laver and its base. You shall consecrate them that they may be most holy, whatever touches them must be holy. And you shall anoint Aaron and his sons, and consecrate them, that they may minister to me as priests. And you shall speak to the children of Israel, saying, This shall be a holy anointing oil to me throughout your generations. It shall not be poured on man's flesh, nor shall you make any other like it according to its composition. It is holy, and it shall be holy to you. Whoever compounds any like it, or whoever puts any of it on an outsider, shall be cut off from his people. You see, um, there was because the earth and the nature of a human being was sinful, the holiness of God had left humanity. In the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve were holy, like God is holy. They, they weren't all powerful like God but they were together with God and God was together with them but what separated man from God is sin and sin uh, is what corrupts the human uh, soul the human body because of the the, the uh, sinful nature that we all born with there is a separation between us and the father because of the sin that cancels out the holiness cancels out the purity so we we are not holy in our own selves we are not holy we are sinful but and and so that's why they had to do all these things so that there can be a holiness as it says it is holy and it shall be holy to you so all these things and and um, whoever compounds any like it or whoever puts any of it on an outsider shall be cut off from his people is because it was a very specific holy thing we in our natural selves cannot uh, be holy in our efforts and so that's why there was so many specific things being done back in those days so that God can allow holiness to be with the people and that's why there had to be atonement of the sins because God want God wants to spend time with his people he's jealous for us and so that's why he cannot come near us because of his holiness is too powerful the sin that has corrupted the human nature and the human body the flesh is not able to withstand the holiness of God so that we would die we would literally die because of the holiness of God is so glorious and powerful and so there there were all these things done um, so that uh, when the high priest would go into the Holy of Holies he would not um, be struck and and died from the holiness of God um, because if he obeyed God and consecrated himself um, hallowed him if he, he was he was hallowed then he would be able to uh, go into the holy of holies um, because of the obedience to God with what God told him to do so that he can be made holy but it was only for the high priest the only only the high priest could go into the holy of holies and he had to do all these things and he had to be separate from sin separate from uh, all sorts of uh, worldly ways but now um, what's so cool about what God did for us by sending his son Jesus is that he did all of that for us so we must understand that as we're reading in the Old Testament about Moses and Aaron 
and we're reading about the high priest, we got to know that Jesus became the high priest in our place. So he basically said, okay, none of you can stand the holiness of God. So I will do this for you. I'll become the high priest for you and I will die and shed my blood for you. That's what Jesus did. And now because of Jesus, his blood is so powerful because it is the blood sacrifice of the son of God that Jesus came in the flesh. And so this blood now takes away the sin and we are made holy with the blood of Jesus. So now we can come boldly into the presence of God. We don't have to do all these things so that we can be consecrated to get into the presence of God. We can be in the presence of God because of Jesus. He is the mediator between us and God. He is the gateway, the bridgeway from us between us and God. And that's why there's no ways we can communicate with God or get into his presence without Jesus. Uh, we can talk to God, of course, but we cannot get into the presence of God without Jesus because he is the way, the truth and the life. And, and that's very significant to the tabernacle because the different parts of the tabernacle also represent the way, the truth and the life, how it was back then. And they were not good enough because no man was pure enough to be able to pay with their own blood. No animal was enough to pay with animal's blood to wipe away the sin. So we must understand that God is so holy and because of our sin, we cannot be near God because we would perish in our sin because the holiness of God is so powerful, it will wipe you out in a second. But now God knows this and he knows that none on earth are good. No one can be holy in their own ways because they keep on uh, disobeying. They keep on sinning. They keep on going back to their wicked ways. And so now for God so loved the world that he sent his only son, Jesus. And so this is the great understanding. This is why the Old Testament is so relevant to us as well is we because we know what God's plan is and what he's really done for us is so that we can be with him and so that we can be made holy because of the blood of Jesus. So it is so powerful to know these things as well because knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. Uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. Hallelujah. Praise God jesus all right guys let's continue thank you jesus whoever compounds any like it or whoever puts any of it on an outsider shall be cut off from his people okay verse 34 and the lord said to moses take sweet spices stacked uh, uh yeah stacked stacked or stacked and anitra and gal banunum uh Gal Banum and pure frankincense with these sweet spices, there shall be equal amounts of each. You shall make of these an incense and compound according to the art of the perfumer, salted, pure, and holy. And you shall beat some of it very fine and put some of it before the testimony in the tabernacle of meeting where I will meet with you. You see, that's what God wanted to do. He wanted to meet with us. A lot of people look at God as a monster, but they don't realize that all he wants is to be with us. And all we do is blame God, curse him, mock him and carry on doing our own thing. And that's why it breaks God's heart. And that's why the wrath of God is, is being poured out and will be poured out on, on, on the wicked is because he wanted to be with him and they said no. So they brought the wrath of God upon themselves because they denied Jesus, because they rejected the gift of salvation. 
God loves us more than we will know on earth of course we we cannot understand how much God loves us in our mortal bodies but we can understand it in our spirit spiritual lives because as the Bible also says we are seated in heavenly places Amen. All right. <clears throat> and you shall be... Sorry, I already read that. Let me just see, see here. Okay. Um, yes. So, where I will meet with you. That was at the in the tabernacle uh, before the testimony. Okay. It shall be most holy to you. But as for the incense which you shall make, you shall not make any for yourselves according to its composition. It shall be to you holy for the Lord. Whoever makes any like it to smell it, he shall be cut off from his people. Hmm. Wow. Wow. That is interesting and so interesting. That's why, guys, you cannot just do stuff and say oh well this is cool this is good so i just want this but no what is god saying you should do amen all right exodus chapter 31 now then the lord spoke to moses saying see i have called by name bezalel the son of uri the son of her of the tribe of judah and I have filled him with the Spirit of God in wisdom, in understanding, in knowledge, and in all manner of workmanship to design artistic works, to work in gold, in silver, in bronze, in cutting jewels for setting, in carving wood, and to work in all manner of workmanship. You see, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, is per He is perfect. The Spirit of God, He is perfect. And so, when this specific man, by the name of Bezalel, God had filled Bezalel with His Spirit. so that he can design artistic works in all these things that's why we when we are filled by filled with the spirit of god and when we submit to the holy spirit then we will also be perfect as our father is perfect and so that's why it's so important to rely and lean and yield to the Holy Spirit because He is the perfect one. Amen. Our ways are not God's ways. Amen. And I indeed, I have appointed Him, uh, uh, sorry, uh, have appointed with Him a Leo, uh, a Ho Liab, the son of Ahisamak, the son, uh, sorry, the tr of the tribe of Dan, and I have put wisdom in the hearts of all the gifted artisans, that they may make all that I have commanded you. The tabernacle of meeting, the ark of the testimony, and the mercy seat that is on it, and all the furniture of the tabernacle, the table and its utensils, the pure gold lampstand with all its utensils the altar of incense the altar of burnt offering with all its utensils and the lever not lever lava sorry and the lava and its base the garments of ministry the holy garments for Aaron the priest uh, for Aaron the priest and the garments of his sons to minister as priests 
and the anointing oil and sweet incense for the holy place according to all that I have commanded you they shall do and the Lord spoke to Moses saying speak also to the children of Israel saying surely my Sabbaths you shall keep for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations that you may know that I am the Lord who sanctifies you you shall keep the Sabbath therefore for it is holy to you everyone who profanes it shall surely be put to death for whoever does any work on it that person shall be cut off from among his people work shall be done for six days but the seventh is the Sabbath of rest holy to the Lord whoever does any work on the Sabbath day he shall surely be put to death therefore the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath to observe the Sabbath throughout their generations as a perpetual covenant it is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever for in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed and when he had made an end of speaking with him on Mount Sinai he gave Moses two tablets of the testimony tablets of stone written with the finger of God glory to God that is Exodus 31 let's go to Exodus 32 right now and continue reading see what happens next now when the people saw that Moses delayed coming down from the mountain the people gathered together to Aaron and said to him come make us gods that shall go before us for uh, for as for this Moses the man who brought us up out of the land of Egypt we do not know what has become of him and Aaron said to him sorry and Aaron said to them break off the golden earrings which are in the ears of your wives your sons and your daughters and bring them to me so all the people broke off the golden earrings which were in their ears and brought them to Aaron and he received the gold from their hand and he fashioned it with an engraving tool and made a molded calf then they said this is your God O Israel that brought you out of the land of Egypt now this is this is such a terrible and sad thing that the children of Israel chose to do such a terrible and sad thing that they chose to do because they were filled with uh, wicked intent in their hearts they were not patient to wait for Moses and that when Moses was finished talking with the Lord that when he would come down to the mountain uh, come down from the mountain sorry and to see what Moses will say but they were not patient they were impatient and this is a key thing that we can learn as well whenever we are impatient listen carefully whenever we are impatient we are setting ourselves up for destruction you are setting yourself up for failure if you are impatient very important okay then they said this is your God O Israel that brought you out of the land of Egypt and this God is used with the small g that's why ladies and gentlemen brothers and sisters in Christ whenever you see the word God used in the Bible if it's not a capital G you know it is false God or talking about the devil as in 2 Corinthians 4 and 4 it says the God of this age that is talking about Satan now they made a molded calf of gold okay 
and this was a god to them but with a small g so when aaron saw it he built an altar before it and aaron made a proclamation and said tomorrow is a feast to the lord then they rose early on the next day offered burnt offerings and brought peace offerings and the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play excuse me and the lord said to moses go get down this is with exclamation this is with exclamation go get down for your people whom you brought out of the land of egypt have corrupted themselves this is a very important thing you guys need to know about the bible the children of israel were corrupted by themselves they have turned aside quickly out of the way which i commanded them quick there's that word quickly they were impatient they have made themselves a molded calf and worshipped it and sacrificed to it and said this is your god o israel that brought you out of the land of egypt and the lord said to moses i have seen this people and indeed it is a stiff-necked people now therefore let me alone that my wrath may burn hot against them and i may consume them and i will make of you a great nation now if if you were in this position to see what what to see from an outsider's point of view god bringing the children of israel out of the land of egypt with his mighty right hand letting them cross on dry ground across the red sea providing for their needs with manna and uh, quail for giving them an abundance of water to drink that came out of a rock a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night to guard the children of israel now the children of israel after seeing all that would say we want to make our own god because we we don't know where this moses is how would you feel what would you feel would be right for the children of israel what would you feel would be deserving for the children of israel god should not allow them to live that's why god himself says right here now therefore let me alone that my wrath may burn hot against them and i may consume them and i will make of you a great nation then moses pleaded with the lord his god and said lord why does your wrath burn hot against your people whom you have brought out of the land of egypt with great power and with a mighty hand why should the egyptians speak and say he brought them out to harm them to kill them in the mountains and to consume them from the face of the earth turn from your fierce wrath and relent from this harm to your people remember abraham isaac and israel your servants to whom you swore by your own self and said to them i will multiply your descendants as the stars of heaven and all this land that i have spoken of i give to your descendants and they shall inherit it forever so the lord relented from the harm which he said he would do to his people now can we can we conclude that god's mind was changed yes it was yes it was because moses pleaded with god moses pleaded with god and the lord withheld his wrath that he was going to pour out that he was going to uh, burn 
uh, with his fierce wrath, the, the people would experience this wrath. But Moses pleaded with the Lord. And Moses turned and went down from the mountain, and the two tablets of the testimony were in his hand. The tablets were written on both sides, on the one side and on the other side they were written. Now the tablets were the work of God, and the writing was the writing of God engraved on the tablets. And when Joshua heard the noise of the people as they shouted, he said to Moses, There is a noise of war in the camp. But he said, It is not the noise of the shout, uh, is, uh, sorry, it is not the noise of the shout of victory, nor the noise of the cry of defeat, but the sound of singing I hear. So it was as soon as he came near the camp that he saw the calf and the dancing. So Moses' anger, uh, so Moses' anger became hot, and he cast the tablets out of his hands and broke them at the foot of the mountain. Why did Moses do this? Is because because Moses went to be with the Lord on the mountain to speak with the Lord and to receive the two, two stone tablets. And uh, when God said that he will pour out his wrath on the children of Israel, Moses didn't really know what was going on. He didn't see, but God told God told Moses that they have corrupted themselves. But Moses didn't understand really what they all did. But God knew. But Moses still thought that there was hope for Israel. So that's why he pleaded with God. And God withheld his wrath. But then when Moses saw for himself how corrupted they were and how evil they were and what evil things that they did. That is when he got angry and that is when he, he thought to himself probably what is the point of these stone tablets? They're not going to listen in any case. And so he got angry and he broke the tablets. I don't blame him for doing that. If I saw that and if I was Moses, I probably would have done the same thing. So. Then he took the calf which they had made, burned it in the fire, and ground it to powder. And he scattered it on the water and made the children of Israel drink it. And Moses said to Aaron, What did this people do to you that you have brought so great sin upon them? So Aaron said, Do not let the anger of my Lord become hot. You know the people that they are set on evil. For they said to me, Make us gods that shall go before us. As for this Moses, the man who brought us out of the land of Egypt, we do not know what has become of him. And I said to them, Whoever has any gold, let them break it off. So they gave it to me, and I cast it into the fire, and this calf came out. Now when Moses saw that the people were unrestrained, for Aaron had not restrained them, to their shame among their enemies, then Moses stood in the entrance of the camp and said, Whoever is on the Lord's side, come to me. And all the sons of Levi gathered themselves together to him. And he said to them, Thus says the Lord God of Israel, Let every man put his sword on his side and go in and out from entrance to entrance throughout the camp, and let every man kill his brother, every man his companion, and every man his neighbor. So the sons of Levi did according to the word of Moses, and about three thousand men of the people fell that day. Then Moses said, 
consecrate yourselves today to the Lord that he may bestow on you a blessing this day for every man has opposed his son and his brother now it came to pass on the next day that Moses said to the people you have committed a great sin so now I will go up to the Lord perhaps I can make atonement for your sin then Moses returned to the Lord and said oh these people have committed a great sin and have made for themselves a god of gold yet now if you will forgive their sin but if not i pray blot me out of your book which you have written and the lord said to moses whoever has sinned against me i will blot him out of my book now therefore go lead the people to the place of which i have spoken to you Behold, my angel shall go before you. Nevertheless, in the day when I visit for punishment, I will visit punishment upon them for their sin. So the Lord plagued the people because of what they did with the calf which Aaron made. And that is the end of chapter 32, guys. We do have limited time today, but that is Bible reading for today. And I'm going to put the chat on for you guys um right now for a little bit to see if you guys have any questions you you have but i do need to leave pretty soon i do need to go so thank you guys for joining in and um god bless you for the word that you've received today i pray that um what you receive today will spark new fire for god that if there is any idols in your life that you will also part with them and repent and renounce them because God is a jealous God he wants you he doesn't want you to worship anything or anyone but him because he is holy and he is the one that has everything that you need amen glory to God Judy glory to God Richard welcome peace be with you as well brother um, yeah glory to God princess Lulu um, praise God for his word and it's it's very important guys that we uh, we also include the Old Testament in our um, Bible time because we can see who God is and what God has done for us throughout the Old Testament and then the New Testament shows us how much Jesus has really paid for us and how sinful we really are so glory to god david hallelujah hallelujah can i write you please i have a uh, have any question yes judy uh you can dm me as well if you have any question thank you guys for the roses there uh david france diana wendy for the heart me and the five roses from, from david thank you god bless man good evening um uh Sh sheila yeah god bless you uh, we're gonna be back again tonight go um though we have load shedding at around 10 p.m tonight so there will be a live stream between 8 p.m and 10 p.m at south african standard time tonight we're gonna read uh tonight from the book of john and we're gonna spend a good amount of time reading uh, the book of John I don't know how many chapters we'll do maybe around five chapters we will do in the book of John tonight but looking forward to that uh, tonight guys I just want to pray for you guys right now before I uh, head out as I unfortunately don't have much time right now but I pray Father God in Jesus name for everyone under the sound of my voice that what we've spoken about today father god will spark a new hunger in our hearts for you father god that we will be careful to not forget you lord but to seek you and to keep our eyes on you lord jesus for you father god have made a way that jesus because of what he has done is the way the truth and the life and there's no way to the father there's no way to you father except through jesus so i pray that we will all remember this that we will all understand this and that we will all move forward father god knowing that you have called us and that we can come boldly into your presence with praise 
And we thank you, Father, for every person on this live, Lord, if they're going through anything in their life. If they are sorry for their sin, Lord, I just pray that you forgive them for their sins as they choose to repent. As they choose to separate themselves from things that do not give you glory. Things that they idolized, I pray, Lord, if they would choose, that you would bless them as they choose to part ways from idolatry and to make you their number one. And we give you, Father God, all the glory, all the praise and honor. We thank you for teaching us your ways. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. So we pray right now, Father God, according to your word in uh, Psalm 51 and verse 10 and 11, Lord, that you, Father, would create in us a clean heart, O God, and renew a, a steadfast spirit within us. Do not cast us from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen, guys. Awesome. Glory to God. Love you guys. I'm going to be heading out for now, but we, we're going to be back again to spend more time in the Word of God. Um, the evening session is going to be in the Gospel of John. We're going to read the first, I would say, five chapters. Um, and then that's going to be great. So it's going to be great to, to spend more time with you guys later on. Eva, God bless you so much. Donald, amen, amen. All right, guys, I'm going to love and leave you for now because I do have to go. But I will see you later on um, Melody. God bless you. Uh, and God bless each and every one of you guys. May the peace of Jesus rest upon you in Jesus' name. And I break every bit of depression, any bit of anxiety, any confusion. I break that now off of your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Someone needed that. May God bless you. Glory and honor all to God. All thanks to God. Hallelujah. Peace out, guys. Love you all. See you later. Adios, amigos. Gloria de Dios.